So this year for my New Year's resolution, I thought it would be great for me to build a habit of going on a run every day. And for the first two weeks of January, I was on point with this resolution. It was going great, but then I just stopped. It's tough out here, I've been slacking. And there really is no reason for it other than the fact that I'm just lazy. I know all the benefits that running brings like being in good shape, clearing my mind, and teaching me how to not give up. But goddamn, does running fucking suck. I'll run one block and already be thinking, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, with my shins in immense amounts of pain and my lungs gasping for air. Running is hard work. In order to stay motivated to run, you have to overcome the resistance your mind creates to it and pretty much say, I know this sucks, but I'm doing it anyways, which is really hard for me at least to do. Now I'm definitely in the majority when it comes to my lack of motivation in running. Most people see how hard it is and just completely avoid it at all costs. People like me are on one side of the spectrum, the side that says, fuck this, I'm not running. But there is another side of the spectrum. On this side, people are addicted to running. And you're probably thinking, wow, people who are addicted to running, they must be in such great shape both physically and mentally. I wish I had the mindset to be like this. But trust me, you do not want to be on this side of the spectrum. Because as you guys will see in this video I'm about to show you, being addicted to running can ruin your life. I set my alarm between 3.30 and 5 a.m. I am obsessed with taking 100,000 steps a day. I kind of let myself down this week. One day I walked 35,000 and it nearly killed me. <laughs> so when I ask her and she says, I think I did 100,000 today. It's like, Liz, why? You don't have time to do anything else. I usually jog about three and a half hours before I take a break. When it's time for my first break, I usually eat yogurt and blueberries. I just mix it in and I jog for about another two and a half, three hours and I eat my second breakfast. And then I jog about another three hours when I eat my lunch. I absolutely wish I just had a catheter so I didn't have to stop jogging. Every seven and a half minutes, I change direction. If Liz got pneumonia, she would still jog around the coffee table. I know I've seen her fall into the coffee table, you know, like trip herself and hurt her leg, and she still continues to jog. Jogging has consumed my life. Okay, honestly, this shit seems kind of fake. I don't know where Dr. Phil is finding these people, but goddamn, the people on this show keep getting weirder and weirder. Let's start from the beginning. This woman wakes up at 3 a.m. to start her long and productive day of running around in tiny little circles. Like, has it never occurred to her that she could just go outside and run or like buy a treadmill instead of running around her coffee table 50 million times? You gotta respect her hustle though. She only takes breaks to go to the bathroom. She will literally go get something to eat and continue running while eating it. She even said, I absolutely wish I just had a catheter so I didn't have to stop jogging. And if you don't know what a catheter is, it's basically a tube that you can piss down so you don't have to go to the bathroom. She is so dedicated to running that she would rather piss herself than take two minutes off the grind to go pee in the toilet like a regular human being. This just goes to show that you can get addicted to literally anything, even running, something you have to actively put effort in to do. I'm out here fiending for any tiny amount of motivation to run, while this woman runs so much that it's a problem for her. And this addiction really has become a problem for her. She spends her entire day running around her living room, so she has no time to do anything else. She has no job, her marriage is being ruined by it, and running all these miles is causing so much pain in her body that she has to take opioids at night to ease the pain. So how the fuck did she get addicted to running? And why the fuck does she not just stop? Well, there is a reason behind it. Well, Liz's extreme step routine means that she burns four to 5,000 calories a day, which makes her think about her other obsession, which is food. My brain is a tangle of an obsession of eating and food and calories. That's literally all I think about. Liz abuses food. When she fixes a meal, she weighs the portions. I restrict my food during the day. I measure out a third of a cup and then I only eat a half of that of the cottage cheese. Yeah, I stick to about 1,900 to 2,100 calories a day and I try to burn a quart or 5,000. The hardest part about restricting my calories is I'm addicted to sweet foods. She has me buy her red velvet cakes. By the end of the night, I like to reward myself with a slice of red velvet cake. On a good day, I'll do two slices. Then after I eat my red velvet cake, I'll let myself get my cereal. Has to be exact. 
By the time the night's over, I've eaten four or five cups of Lucky Charms. She likes pumpkin pie, she likes cinnamon rolls, but then she's always gotta compensate with the steps. Take some cake and keep walking. It's an endless cycle. Okay, so now it's all starting to add up. Being addicted to jogging isn't the problem for this woman. The real problem is her addiction to food. Because she loves eating so much, she feels that it's necessary to take 100,000 steps a day to burn off the calories from all the food that she eats. And because she spends all day doing this, she has no job, her husband is about to leave her, and she's developing an addiction to painkillers. It's safe to say that all these problems in her life stem from one thing, her addiction to food. I wonder if she's ever thought to herself, hmm, maybe if I just didn't eat as much, I wouldn't have to spend all day jogging, and then I could go do something productive with my life. If she was able to face her real problem, all of her other problems would go away, but she refuses to do so. When people have an addiction like this, they often deny that they have it, which can only result in them making the situation worse for themselves. It is impossible to cure an addiction if you deny its existence. And even if people know that they have an addiction, they still won't do anything to address it because it can be difficult or scary. This woman thinks that cutting back on the amount that she eats is so difficult that she spends all her time running, which obviously is more difficult. But her addiction makes it seem as though it's easier to run all day than it is to eat less. And I'm not saying it's easy to overcome addiction. If it was easy, nobody would be addicted to anything. I'm just like this woman. I've never been diagnosed with it or anything, but I definitely also have an eating addiction. A lot of you may not know this, but back in the day, I used to be a chonk boy, and I weighed 250 pounds. In order to lose all that weight, I had to acknowledge my addiction to food and fight it head on. It was not easy, and it still is hard for me to restrict myself from eating so much. One thing I can certainly say about losing a lot of weight is, your weight may go away, but your love for food will never leave you. I still am, and forever will be, a fat kid at heart. I still love ice cream, and cookies, and pizza, and burgers, and pretty much everything. So I have to actively fight my addiction and avoid these unhealthy foods. Both me and this woman have the same addiction. The difference between us is that I choose to fight the addiction head on while she both literally and figuratively runs away from it. And by choosing to not fight her addiction, she has ended up causing many other issues in her life. Now I'm not trying to toot my own horn or say I'm better than this woman. Fighting addiction is a personal battle that's either easier or harder for different people. And I truly do hope that she's able to get some help and live a healthier life. Now, while we're on the topic of addiction, one thing that I'm definitely addicted to is seeing my channel grow. So if you've been enjoying the video so far, I really would appreciate if you dropped a like on the video and subscribe to my channel. It bumps me up in the YouTube algorithms and allows me to reach a larger audience. So I really would appreciate it. Nobody has a life that's problem free. No matter who you are, where you're from, how much money you have, or what you look like, issues will arise. And what separates the people who overcome their problems from the people who don't is their willingness to face them. Another problem that I have is like, I'm pretty socially awkward. I suck at talking to people. And for most of my life, I avoided talking to people at all costs. It was something that I was scared to do. And because of this, my social skills did not improve at all. But then I got woke and realized that I will never get better at talking to people if I never talk to people. So I decided to go out and practice starting conversations. And because I faced my fears and challenged myself to do this, over time I've gotten better at talking to people and overcome my social anxiety. You will start to see improvement in your life when you get comfortable with being uncomfortable. The things in life that seem so scary or difficult always end up being easy. You just have to face your fears and take the first step. Once I started eating healthier, I realized that healthy food wasn't so bad after all. Once I started talking to people more often, I realized that there was no reason to be afraid of talking to people in the first place. It is impossible to solve a problem by ignoring it. The only way you can solve a problem is by addressing it. So what I want you all to do is to think of a problem that you have in your own life. Think about all the pain and issues that result from it and ask yourself, am I willing to do what it takes to overcome this? And if the answer is yes, then you know what to do. Actively challenge yourself to face the problem head on, and after some time, you will start to see results. Anyways though guys, I do hope you all enjoyed the video, but that's all I got time for today. I have a run I need to go on. Peace.